Today, I'm going to give you five projects you need on your development portfolio. But I thought you only needed one. I'm adding four more. Learning to code can be stressful and hard, and that's why I was proud to write the book, Breaking the Code, that gives you those five essential steps to landing that first software job. Pick up your copy today at Amazon or any other major outlet. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we're big advocates for building a software project and putting that on a developer portfolio to help you get a job. In fact, one of our most popular videos is the one coding project guaranteed to get you a job. Today, I'm going to add to that list for a total of five projects you should put on your portfolio. And these projects will give you a diversity in project types and allow you to demonstrate a lot of skill and a lot of expertise in order to solidify your chances of landing that software job. So let's go through those five projects right now. Of course, we're going to build the bug tracker, a blog, a financial portal, we're also gonna build an inventory control system and a work order system. Now, all of these projects follow the same kind of key criteria, meaning they solve a business problem, they implement security like authorization, authentication, and they hit a database. Now, if you want to know the features for each of these systems, keep watching. Now, the first project you need on your coding portfolio is the bug tracker. And that is the most important project we think that you can put on a developer portfolio. And here's the reason why. The reason why you put this on here is because it is very familiar to a hiring manager. And a hiring manager typically is using a bug tracker or a software tracking system or an issue tracking system inside their environment. And so when they look at yours, they can immediately tell if it's good or bad or not. So what does a bug tracker do? A bug tracker allows someone to submit a defect that they found in software, and then that's, that defect can get assigned to a developer. That developer works on the issue and then closes that ticket, and then that issue is routed to maybe a production team, and that production team rolls that fix into production. So there's a workflow or issue tracking system around software defects. Now, if you want to know more about the bug tracker, go up here. We have the one coding project guaranteed to get your software job that goes into way more detail. But we think the bug tracker is the essential development project you should put on your portfolio. If you're enjoying our content, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit notifications so you can get alerted when we have more great content. So the second software project you should put on your portfolio is a blog. Now that may seem odd at first when there's things like Medium, DevTO, and LinkedIn that are kind of have a very robust blogging platform. But I think you should use these to build your brand. But let's talk about what it needs to do. The first thing that you should have in your blog is your ability to author content or author articles. And this means you have to implement some kind of rich text editor that supports bold or underline or something like that. And you can use this with tiny MCE or other kind of controls that very easily allows you to integrate those types of functionality into your software. Now, it must also have a security system because you don't want anyone to write blogs on your site. You want to just you to write blogs on your site. So you'll have a login system, but you also may have a role for people that want to make comments and you can get them right through your site so they can leave a comment about your software. So it needs to have, a, it needs to have an authoring system and also a commenting system, as well as categories and search functionality so people can find the articles they're interested in. And also they can maybe just click on a category and that brings up the, the articles just in that category. So that's kind of the features. Now, why would you build this or why would I put this on my development portfolio? Well, think about this. If you wrote 20 articles and then you post synopsis of those articles on DevTO, Medium, and LinkedIn, they're all pointing back to your blog software, which in turn points back to your portfolio. And so your portfolio can get this high relevancy ranking when people search your name, or maybe they're even just searching for a term like .NET NBC, and your article comes up in that list. And that gives you more brand building capabilities than you had previously. So I think you should build a blog, not only to show your skill, but also to build your brand as a developer. 
So the third project you should add to your portfolio is the personal financial portal. Now this is a piece of software that's like mint.com or Quicken Money. Um, and if you want to know what the features are in depth, check out this video up here where we go through the personal financial portal we build here at Coder Foundry. But if you're just curious, high level, the features are you need to be able to track the transactions from your credit card, your savings, your checkings, and basically you're tracking your income and your expenses and it allows you to put those income and expenses into categories. So for example, on a monthly basis, you can see how much you spent on food or entertainment. The reason we recommend this project is because every hiring manager has used software like this to manage their own personal finances. And if you show them a piece of software that's intuitive, easy to use, and very useful, they look at it and say, wow, that's useful. I might use that for myself. Then they're going to think the programmer that wrote this is also going to bring extreme value to their company or their organization. And that paints you in the best possible light during the interview process. So put the financial portal on your developer portfolio today. So the fourth project we want to talk about is an inventory control system. You may be asking, what is that? Well, an inventory control system allows a company to receive shipments and those could be parts that they use to assemble things, or it could be the product that they receive and then turn around and sell that. Now, critical, part of the company is be able to track those costs as they come in and actually apply those to their sales or the jobs that come out. Now, one of the things that inventory control system produces is something called a job costing report. And the job costing report allows you to say, okay, all the stuff that I pulled in, how much did I pay for that? And then how much did I charge for that service or that product going out the door? And this is essential to a lot of businesses as they operate. Now you may be interviewing with someone that doesn't really have an inventory problem, but most companies have some type of inventory that they're tracking. Either they're building, they're bringing in products or services, or they're just buying equipment to run the business. So this is an essential part of almost every business that runs in America. And so when you show this to someone, this proves that you can solve business problems and that you can solve kind of complex business problems on top of that. And so you'll be able to add value to that organization with your skill and talent by demonstrating that you can build an inventory control system. So the fifth project that you could put on your portfolio is what we're gonna call the work order system. Now this work order system can be seen in a lot of things as you walk around your daily life. The one you may be most familiar with would be like a cable repair system. And so let's say that you're using your cable and it goes out. You call the cable company, that call will generate a ticket and attached to that ticket will be an address. And then that address is geolocated so that the, the technician that's gonna be dispatched to your house can find where he needs to go. So the big feature around this is taking that request in, geolocating and generating maybe turn by turn directions, or at least giving the technician where they need to go in order to perform the work. A lot of companies do have these workflow or these work order tracking systems already built. And so when you show them that you can build something similar to something they're already using, it puts you in the best possible light. Pretty much all companies have some sort of work order system that's either built into their accounting software or they've built it out and it, and it rides alongside their accounting software. So the hiring manager will immediately recognize this as a useful product and it puts you as a serious developer in front of them that you can solve very complex business problems. So look at the work order system and add one to your portfolio today. So to sum up these five projects, are essential to, I think, any developer portfolio. And especially if you're struggling for what do I put on it, these five projects will give you focus and, and aspiration of things that you could build. Now, if you're thinking out there, hey, I'm a desktop person or I build mobile sites or I build um, internal embedded apps, a lot of these projects have natural things that you could build mobile versions for or even desktop versions for. So just because we're talking about web, I don't want you to limit yourself in thinking that way, that these applications can also be built in other ways with either mobile or desktop. If you're looking at these and you're like, man, I would really like to build that. And I can see how that could get me that first software job if I could do that, but you don't know where to turn. We would love to be your teacher, your coach, or your mentor at Coder Foundry. And if you want to look at 
letting us be that person. Go to coderfrowney.com slash job roadmap, where my team can put you on the path to getting that first software job. That's coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. Well, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.